Zaffa 323 continues its journey towards what's shaping up to be one of the biggest and most impactful patches of Star Citizen yet, we continue discussing the various aspects and features contained within. And this week, we're going back to Team Kian with a quick look at the updated lens and visor, loot screens, and new shopping interface. What's the difference between the lens and the visor? It's down to whether you're wearing the helmets or not. The visor is essentially your hood projected onto the helmet. So it's shown on the visor in front of your face. When you take the helmet off, you're wearing a contact lens in lower, and that shows your hood as well. Of course, in a video game, you're going to need all that HUD information. You get information about your active status, your weapons, what you're holding. Notifications, your missions, your comms, your chatting, everything like that is part of the visor and lens. But we don't want to do it and just, it's magically there, right? You get the lens, it's right there. You have all the information projected on your eye immediately. And the second you put a helmet on, you will get the visor experience. It's making the UI diegetic. The big upgrade in 323 isn't so much new information, but it's a new dynamic system for showing and hiding widgets based on your current situation. So all the basic information that you would see, like you need to know your health status. So you have all of these widgets telling you, okay, you're dying from this thing. You're, you have no oxygen. It's warning you of all the different hazards that you can meet out there. We've got regions all over the lens, and we can specify which widgets we show in them. For example, down the bottom right, we've got the weapons. We've got the control hints. And we've got low priority notifications, which can take up a lot of real estate. If something else shows on screen that would overlap one of those, it'll, one of the lowest priority ones will dynamically turn off and it'll all fit nicely onto screen again. Previously, all notifications were shown in the center of the screen, which could get a bit busy. We've now introduced the concept of low priority notifications, which anything that's not super important to you will show in a box down in the bottom right of the screen instead of being loud and in your face. The UI for the missions and objectives, again, that's all been updated. The notification should animate over to the right hand side of the screen where we've got our new objective UI. This presents essentially all the same information as the old objective UI, but in a much nicer package. We've also reworked the weapon UI, so you see a more detailed description of the weapon that you have. And this new visor and lens has been adapted to incorporate the new minimap. Another aspect of our dynamic widget system is that we can turn off specific widgets when, depending on what you're looking at. So if you've got your Mobi glass open, it can hide a lot of the widgets, maybe except for the notifications. If you're looking at a kiosk, maybe we just want to show the control hints on the right-hand side and everything else can be easily hidden. So with the visor, we can now customize the content that you see depending on the helmets you're wearing. And what this new dynamic region gives us beyond 323 will be allowing artists to style things based on different visors and different missions and different purposes. The code for the different styles of manufacturers, etc., is in now. You can see the potential of having different visors for different helmets for these different roles. The next thing is to get the artists onto the job, really. In 323, the only specialized visor is going to be the combat visor that comes with the dynamic crosshair. But you can expect us to continue iterating on these visors in future patches. So the loot screen builds on a lot of work that we've done in the personal inventory over the past few years. It's a new UI giving the player the possibility to just pick up stuff on the go. The existing personal inventory can be a bit cumbersome when trying to pick up ammo in a firefighter and things like that. So 
the new loot screen aims to address those issues. Now when the player goes over to a body or a box, it, it can quickly press F and this will bring up the new loot screen. This menu is a simplified version of the player's loadout and the entity they are looting. You'll see the looted entity items on the top and the players on the bottom. You can easily swap between both and equip things from what you're looting by just clicking or clicking and dragging. This screen is a more simplified version of the inventory. is to make the experience for the player to be quicker. We also now have a separate section for armor, which wasn't a consideration for Squadron 42. You'll just click a button and it'll take you to a new page and you can swap your armor with who you're looting and see everything that they had equipped. We also have some contextual actions in the loot screen. If you are looking for ammo for a specific weapon, you can hover over that weapon and it will show you any magazines or attachments that will fit that weapon. You can then quickly loot those or attach the weapon attachments using that menu. So when the player hovers a specific item, this will appear a tooltip that will tell you the available actions and that will include, for example, a single click to equip, a shift left, left click to store it. We've also added a button to the loot screen to swap between that and the existing personal inventory view. The inventory will stay, it's not going anywhere, uh, and is more for your management. So what you're seeing here is still, uh, the visuals are still for Squadron. We are planning to do a PU version and that will come for this release. And our team's last big addition to 323 is an updated shopping experience. So today when you're looking to buy an item, you look at that item and you see a flat piece of UI on the left hand side of the screen. You then need to interact with this item and if the price is high enough, it will take you to a confirmation screen in the Mobi Glass that shows you more information where you can confirm if you want to proceed with the transaction. With the new Mobi Glass being introduced, we took this as an opportunity to remove the old confirmation screen and update some of the UI around the shopping experience. We really wanted to sell the idea of the AR lens actually putting things out in the world. You will see the overlay around the item with basic information. Uh, you will see the price of the item and your balance. We're no longer going to be directly interacting with the item to purchase it. We'll now have hotkeys that will be displayed on the card. You need to press these hotkeys for a certain amount of time in order to complete the transaction. The process will happen in the background and then you will get a notification if it was successful. So you can see now, in world, you have this interface with the information you need to see, okay, do I want to buy this thing? You just interact with it, buy the thing, and you're done. The default key for buying will be B for buying, um, but if you don't like it, you can go to settings and then change the key binding, like any other bindings in, in our game. The same will be true for renting if it is a vehicle or something that can be rented. We also have the concept of quick buy currently, which just allows you to grab the item immediately. So the main reason that we made this change is because with the new visors, we have redesigned some of the apps that you have, like shown on the visor and shown on the Mobi Glass. We had the choice to either port the existing confirmation screen over directly as it is with all of the, its information, or update the experience to something more fitting with our game now. Obviously, we still have the shopping terminals, so if you want to buy things in bulk, that's probably where you go. But when you're just picking that one thing up quickly, like that. So for anyone playing Star Citizen, 323 is going to mean a new visor and HUD experience that's just going to look way better than before. It's going to feel more diegetic. It's been about polishing and improving and iterating on what we've already got in the universe. It's going to have the new looting system, which is going to make the flow so much quicker for you, as well as the new shopping system, looking nicer, being faster. We're hoping to provide a better experience to all the players so they have a more enjoyable experience with the game. And I'm really proud of the work that everyone on this team has been doing. So what are we learning this week? Well, we learned that the updated visor system will unlock artists to explore different interface stylings and designers to create more function-driven apps for the different manufacturers and purposes of helmets. That the new Squadron 42 looting screen is being adapted to the multitude of uses exclusive to the persistent universe. 
and how the new shopping interface aims to make finding and buying that item or vehicle in-game easier and more intuitive than ever before. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Thanks for letting us share the process of game development with you, and we'll see you all here next week. Look at this stupid meme Every time I do it makes it seem Like my hiring was so bad And all I did was make Chris Roberts mad And this is why I screwed up This next line just rhymes up with up